isn't a pit bull problem, it's a bad owner problem. Defending the breed just a few weeks after two pit bulls viciously attacked a six year old girl, dog owners out in large numbers tonight hoping to shake what some people call a rotten reputation. Tammy? It all comes down to the owner and how you raise a pit bull. Dozens of pit bull owners walking this evening calling on owners to take responsibility. Cincinnati's pit crew says not all pit bulls are vicious. There are people in Cincinnati that take good care of their dogs and they are pit bull dogs and they're not posing a threat to public safety. The breed's back in the news after two pit bulls mauled Zainabu Drame to the point where her family can't recognize her face. At the center of the walk is an effort to raise $1,000 to help with the little girl's medical bills. Yes, this happened and it's really terrible and this person was a terrible owner. But in Cincinnati, we also have really awesome pit bull owners. The two dogs were guarding a criminal drug operation. The owner, Zante Irby, is due in court on Friday for drugs and weapons charges, but has not been charged in the mauling. So when you raise a dog to guard a criminal enterprise and you don't socialize it well and you don't get it proper vet care, um, and it's allowed to roam the neighborhood, you're creating a public safety threat to the community. Daniel Gaither says he appreciates Cincinnati's repeal of a pit bull ban in 2012. If you kill him with kindness, he's only going to be a little snuggle bug and love you and just come up to you and be happy. Now, right now, Zainabu's family did not have a comment for this story. They say right now they're trying to focus on her recovery. Her mother told me she is still in critical condition. She's had two surgery and is expected to have another one on her jaw on Thursday. Reporting live, Tammy Muchasa, WLWT News 5. All right, Tammy, thanks. Cincinnati Pit Crew, that group we just were talking about, telling us they raised more than $500 in cash and checks. They say that more people have pledged to take the donations to Zainabu's fund at Fifth Third.